Hi guys, how are you? Who is ready to read another fun Easter book? This one is called Who Hid the Easter Eggs? And the author's name is a little bit harder to pronounce. I think it's Pirco Vanio or Perco. I hope I got that right. Thank you so much for this great book. And let's get started. Look on the cover. Do you see that little squirrel with the beautiful Easter eggs? Well, this book is kind of, this book has a lot of surprises. We have a lot of um, mystery surprise guests reading with us today. So our first one is our very own little squirrel. And look at all her eggs. Look how pretty they are. And my next surprise is somebody who's helping this squirrel make these eggs. So look over here, my little, my little surprise guest. So she's got an egg, and now what is she gonna do? Let's see, she's gonna put a rubber band around the egg, okay? And then, what do you think's gonna happen with that rubber band? We're gonna check back at the end of this book. Here she goes, what color is she gonna drop it in? I see purple and yellow and blue and green and red. Let's see what color she picks. Oh, she's going with orange. All right, so when we're done, we will check and see what happens with that rubber band. All right, you guys ready to start this book? All right, oh, look at that little squirrel. It was a beautiful spring day. Harry sat on a branch, swaying in the breeze. He was happy. He could feel the sun warming his fur and smell the fresh green leaves all around him. Down below, he watched a grandmother walking around her yard. She was carrying a basket full of brightly colored eggs. It must be Easter, thought Harry. And he leaped from his branch. Oh my goodness. Ah, look, who's re look who just popped in. It's Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Oh my gosh. She's reading, she, she's reading with us. And look, I wonder if she saw the squirrel watching her from the tree. Did you, Grandma? Okay. Let's flip. There's Harry jumping down from the tree. Harry knew that the grandmother always hid painted eggs in her yard at Easter so that the grand her grandchildren could have fun searching for them. He watched her gently place an egg in a hole in the apple tree. She put another egg in a flower pot. Harry watched carefully as she hid the eggs all around the yard. Look at that grandma, she's very busy, isn't she? You see all those eggs? <laughs> oh, hi grandma. Grandma, where are you gonna hide these eggs? I don't know, wherever my little hands put them. <laughs> oh no, grandma, she's taking an egg. No, not our polka dot egg, grandma. That's our favorite egg. Oh no, oh I love that polka dot egg. Grandma, she's taking our polka dot egg. Ah, Grandma! All right. We'll have to get that back from her, won't we? All right. Harry scurried to the apple tree. He wanted to see one of the Easter eggs close up. I've never seen anything so beautiful, he sighed. But someone else was taking a keen interest in the Easter eggs. Oh, it was the jackdaw. Jack. See the bird? Okay, oh no, what is the jackdaw doing? When the grandmother had hidden all of the eggs, she went back inside the house. Harry climbed up on the window frame to see what she was doing now. Suddenly, he heard a loud thack, thack. He turned around just in time to see Jack fly through the yard with one of the Easter eggs clutched tightly in his claws. Oh no, cried Harry. Jack is stealing the eggs. Oh no. Harry followed Jack to his nest in the big pine tree. And what did he find? Oh no. Jack had stolen all of the Easter eggs from the garden and had put them in his nest. Oh no. Look, he took all the pretty Easter eggs. 
Harry didn't know what to do. The children would be so upset when they didn't find any eggs. Maybe Jack didn't know who the eggs belonged to. Well, maybe so. You can't keep those eggs, Jack, said Harry. They belong to the children. But all the other birds have eggs in their nest in the spring, said Jack. Everybody has eggs except for me. Oh, I'm sure you'll have your own eggs very soon, said Harry. Well, if you think so, said Jack. All right, let's see what they do to make things right. Let's see. So Jack and Harry put all of the eggs back in the yard. One by one, they carefully carried them down from the nest and rolled them across the lawn. Look at them rolling all those eggs. Jack was worried. I can't remember where I found them all, he said. Oh no, Harry sat down to think. One of them was in the flower pot. So let's see, oops, let me make that right, hold on. One of them was in the flower pot. He remembered, and one was in the apple tree. See, they're gonna put him back in the apple tree. Just then, they heard voices. Oh no, who is it? The children were here. Harry and Jack raced around, hiding the eggs anywhere they could. The children ran around and around the yard but they couldn't find a single egg. Oh no, well, let me make this clear for you guys. They couldn't find a single egg. We're going to have to help them, said Harry. Jack made a very loud thack, thack, and he flew to the apple tree. So let's look. See, he flew to the apple tree. Oh, look, said the kids. It's a jackdaw, shouted the children. And there's an Easter egg up there in the apple tree. Harry jumped into a teapot and stuck his tail up high. Oh look, he's trying to get their attention. A squirrel, the kids shouted, and another Easter egg. Oh, Harry helped them find the Easter egg. Harry and Jack leaped and flew around the garden, showing the children where the eggs were hidden until the eggs had all been found. Then they sat down happily in a tree, there they are in the tree, and they watched. They were very happy that the kids found all the eggs. It's nice to see them having so much fun, said Harry. Yes, it is, sighed Jack. I'd be so happy if I found an egg in my nest, too. Well, maybe I can help you, said Harry. Oh, look at this. Harry and Jack went back to Jack's nest in the pine tree. On a nearby branch sat another jackdaw with a couple of twigs in her beak. This is Jackie, said Harry. You can share my nest, said Jack, if you haven't already got one of your own. That would be so nice, said Jackie. Aw, that was sweet of Jack. He offered to share a nest with little Jackie. So they've got Jack and Jackie. Their names are similar. Aw, look at that. The spring days got warmer and warmer. One evening, Harry decided to climb up to the top of the pine tree. On his way, he stopped to visit Jack and Jackie. Look, Harry, said Jack so proudly. Look what we've got in our nest. There in the nest lay six speckled eggs. Oh, what a wonderful surprise, said Harry. You see, I told you that you'd soon have your own eggs. Then off he leaped up to the very top of the tree to enjoy the sunset. Aw, so Jack and Jackie got their own eggs. And do you wanna see something that, another surprise that's reading with us? You might have seen a peek of her while I was reading. Oh, it's our very own nest, and look who's guarding our nest. Oh, the bunny, but she's falling over. So there's our bunny, and she's guarding our nest with, look, see how they have speckled eggs? Do you see their speckled eggs? Jack and Jackie have speckled eggs, and our bunny has a nest with speckled eggs. Isn't that so cool? All right, let's see how this book ends. Oh, that is it. So they had their speckled eggs, and Jack and Jackie were so happy. All right, should we check back in on our egg over here? Let's check back in. All right, little helper. What's it gonna be? Whoa, that's pretty. All right, you're gonna take, you're gonna peel off the rubber band. 
Let's see, what do we, th can you stretch your arms out so we can see better? There we go. Oh, stretch it out more. Wow, look at that white line. That is pretty. Why don't you dip it in another color? Let's just experiment here and see what happens. Whoa, very pretty. I don't know if yellow will show up too good on that, but we could try, try blue. Whoa, that changed it. Whoa, that's pretty. Plop. Very nice. <laughs> You're gonna drop it in the, with the rest of the eggs? Hey, did that granny ever bring back our speckled egg? Where is that granny with our egg? Oh, you oh, no. Granny, Granny just dropped our speckled egg. Oh no, look at that. Oh, our speckled egg cracked on the ground. Granny, no. Sorry. Oh, Granny, now I gotta go clean up that egg, you silly little Granny. All right, we'll have to make another speckled egg, won't we? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It's okay, Granny. Oh, that's a mess, but that's okay. That happens sometimes when we're making Easter eggs. Well, thank you so much for reading with us. Thank you, Squirrel, and thank you. Come back and read more soon. Bye.